These days I just write my copy and email it to my editor. He pops it online straight away. Maybe I tweet a link to 40,000 people on Twitter and if any of those people read the article and think it's any good, maybe they retweet the link to their followers. And straight away you know what your audience thinks of your work. Each reader judges whether this one article warrants a larger audience. Hundreds of retweets meant that readers thought it was worth recommending, that the article, in other words, was of sufficient interest to them to take the significant personal risk of troubling their own friends with it. When I tweet a link to an article, it's like auditioning my content to a huge gathering of editors, large and small. I'm asking them to read it. I'm asking them implicitly to consider republishing it to their readers. I'm also asking them for their opinion. And I very regularly get it. <laughs> Working online has made me more reflective, more accountable, more aware of how stupid my hair is, and much, much, much better informed than I was in print. And that's not because my contacts in politics have improved, it's because I learn more from my audience than ever before. Deregulation of the old model can have profound benefits and it can cough up, cough up some rather remarkable moments too. Several weeks ago I was giving a speech in Sydney about communication skills in modern politics. I talked about the class of politicians that I call the manglers, joyful and heedless malapropists <laughs> whose energetic tussles with the English language keep us all enthralled. I invoked the great John Prescott, British Deputy Prime Minister under Blair, and his reported remark on arrival home after one trip abroad that it was, quote, great to be back on terracotta, close <laughs> quote. <laughs> and there was a lady in the, in the audience live tweeting my remarks. After I sat down, she came to show me a reply she had just had from Prescott himself. <laughs> asking her to tell me that the terracotta remark was an urban myth and that he had never said any such thing. <laughs> he then tweeted to his followers, I just corrected an Aussie journo giving a speech in Sydney. I love Twitter. <laughs> I was heartbroken over the loss of the terracotta story. But like Preza, I love Twitter too.